But I love how it's literally 85 degrees outside and I'm in here wearing a sweater. But you know what? I wanted to be cute for the video. So let's just rock it and, you know, pain is beauty. Hello everyone, my name is Ariel and today I'm coming to you with a different sort of video. Now, if you haven't seen any of my vlogs before, the last one that I posted I talked about doing, well basically I did an unboxing, but it was for an old Owl Crate box and I mentioned in that vlog that I ended up subscribing to both Owl Crate and Fairy Loot via my own money, so no one sent this to me, I'm not that famous, but I just got my first Owl Crate box in the mail today. And I'm super excited. I have been waiting desperately for this. You guys have no idea. <laughs> I've been checking and checking and I was like, I even Googled, I was like, okay, around what time do they ship because I want it now. All of the covers are so freaking beautiful for these books. That's honestly like the main reason why I subscribe to both of these services is that I want to be special too and I want these like cool editions. I'm so upset, so upset that I missed like both opportunities for Sorcery of Thorns because both editions, the Owl Crate and the Fairy Loot were so flippin' beautiful. If you haven't seen, the Owl Crate was like purple and gold and the Fairy Loot had like these glittery like teal sprayed edges and you know what? After that, the FOMO hit real hard and I did not want that anymore. So I spent my hard-earned coin on these boxes and I hope to God that it doesn't disappoint. So we have a lot of, we have a lot of hype and a lot of standards to like fill up to. So let's just get started because I spent, what is it, $35 on this? and I'm still subscribed. So let's see, I forget what the theme is, so we're gonna get to that right now. So here's the beautiful box. You've seen this probably a million times before. Um, I didn't really think about what I needed to open this with. My nails do a good enough job though, so. <laughs> let's rip this open. I'm so excited! Oh my God, I'm actually ripping it. That's probably not what you're supposed to do. Here we go. Let's be not a savage Ariel. Okay, ooh, this is beautiful. Wait, I don't even remember. Wait, okay, so it says Owl Crate B Race. Spoiler warning, oh, okay, so it was Tournaments and Trials. Tournaments and Trials. Um, channel your inner bravery every time you use this exclusive, okay, wait, don't wanna read that yet. So I've opened up the box and there's like these wormies. <gasps> Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Where do I dump this? <laughs> Go over there. Okay, first thing that I see, I noticed immediately, okay, on the top is um, Gryffindor and Hufflepuff. If you didn't know, I'm a Gryffindor. Um, spoiler alert, I kind of wanted you guys to like figure out what I was just based on my personality. But, okay, everyone in the universe says I'm Hufflepuff, but I've taken that Pottermore quiz so many times in every Harry Potter quiz ever, and I always get Gryffindor, so maybe I'm just the Neville Longbottom of Gryffindors, so, but anyways, if you can, okay, I'm getting ahead of myself, I'm getting off topic, I'm just really excited. So it has all of, like, the, um, mascots for the Hogwarts houses, so I obviously know this is something to do with Harry Potter, and I love Harry Potter! My eye just twitched a little bit from excitement. What is this? It's a mug! Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, so this is like the maze. Oh wait, no, no, no. Oh wait, this is all like all of it. Okay, so this is the dragon. This is basically the fourth book. Okay, so we have the Harry and the dragon right here. Oh wait, should I zoom in? I don't know how to do this. Crap. <laughs> Give me a second. Okay, so here's the close-up of the mug. So basically, if we start on this side, we have the grave of Tom Riddle. We have the maze and the little stadium area and we switch over this way we have the Dermastring boat and the carriage with the bow battens we have the Hogwarts castle and then we have the um, Triwizard tournament where he's facing against the Hungarian horned tail so yeah that is this one okay so this little mug was the first item and I'm so in love with it also pardon the noise outside they have picked today to repave the parking spaces outside so that's what you're hearing I'm just gonna have to deal with it because I really wanted to unbox this box today since I got it today and I'm just super excited and already I am obsessed with this mug and honestly well worth it already <laughs> okay we are so excited to include the next design in our Harry Potter inspired ceramic mug series we were inspired by a daunting tasks from the Triwizard Tournament and we love how the artist Kara Kozik brought the scenes to life Okay, so that's Kara, I guess, made. Okay, the next thing that I pulled out is this little coin purse, it looks like. And it says, may the odds be ever in your favor. Um, I'll do, you know what, I decided, 
I'm gonna zoom in all at the end so I don't have to keep zooming in and out. I just literally just dumped the bottom floor. So yeah, it's this little like cute little coin purse that's um, obviously Hunger Games related. I'll just film a close up later on, but that's super cute. And it's got, um, or I thought it had a little owl. Did it get zipped inside? Oh yeah, yeah, it has the little owl crate owl right there. So that's that. So this is the little coin purse. It says, may the odds be ever in your favor. And then it's got the little owl crate owl right there. What's next? Okay, so then I see this little thing. Oh, it's a puzzle. Oh my God, Glenn and I just did a puzzle. So this will give us something to do. That's cool. And it's in this cute little pouch. Okay, wait. Let me backtrack. Okay, well, we'll read about Keep your coins and treasures close to your heart in this canvas coin purse inspired by the Hunger Games item was designed just for you by Kit Kronk Studio. And then, okay. Oh my god, they're gonna drive me nuts! Okay. Test your attention to detail and your patience with this challenging 300-piece jigsaw puzzle. Okay, that's not bad. We did, I think, a 550-piece puzzle, so I think we can manage this. Holly Dunn designed illustrated... Oh no, oops. <laughs> Holly... Holly Dunn Design illustrated the puzzle and she hid many fun little details from the night circus throughout the imagery. Use the accompanying art print to help you on your quest to complete it. So I wonder what it looks like because I don't know if it was in here what the picture is supposed to look like. And then here is the print of what the puzzle is supposed to look like when you put it all together. It says people see what they wish to see. Okay, the next thing is this little lanyard, which is cute. Okay, wait. I keep having to, like, dump the box on the floor. It says, bravery hides in amazing places. And it's got, like, a bunch of little plants on it, a little succulents. So this is super cute. I mean, my old lanyard is kind of getting, like, crotchety, so maybe I should replace it. Um, let's see what it says about this. Channel your inner bravery every time you use this exclusive lanyard inspired by the selection and designed by Four Seasons Fox. It's perfect accessory to take with you to any book festival. I haven't read the selection. I didn't think there was succulents in the selection, but regardless, I really think this is cute. So, we have that. I'm excited. Okay, what else? Give me the tea. What else is in here? <gasps> what is this? Oh my god. What? Okay, wait. I haven't read this book, but this still looks awesome. At first, I thought this was like Six of Crows or something, but this looks like a deck of cards. And it's from, it's inspired by The Gathering of Shadows by V.E. Schwab. Damn it. This is so cool. Oh my god. I'm so cheesed off because the camera, my camera, uh, my card actually, ended up becoming full so you missed my freaking reaction to these cards but holy crap they're beautiful first of all look at this oh my god this is so beautiful and then like i was going through because it said that there was someone that had illustrated like the things the things the like the face cards and these are freaking beautiful oh my god i have like i mentioned not read a gathering of shadows or a darker shade of magic but holy cow this is so cool. Oh my god, I wish, ah, my first reaction obviously was like, ah, ugh. but I mean, oh my god, I'm gonna show you guys up close earlier, but like, I was losing my mind just even opening them, because like, the bread on the end, oh my goodness, and I was saying, you know what, like this, this stuff like this in the mug, it, okay, has already made it 100% worth it, because like, where am I ever gonna find something like this? The answer is nowhere. I love this so freaking much. Okay, I think all that's left, oh wait, 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 it cut off before I could say like who did the artwork and stuff, so let me look at that, oh wait, I left it over there. Are you ready to use your elemental magic to win the Essen Talk? Have fun with this deck of playing cards inspired by the characters from A Gathering of Shadows. Talented artists Nicole Deal at Nicole Deal Art, Gina Hilton at Dark and Beautiful Art, Marianne Martin at Marianne Martin Draws, and Diana Dwork at Diana Dwork illustrated the different character cards, and Michelle Gray at the Michelle Gray designed the numbered cards and stunning packaging. So this is what the pack of cards look like. It is shiny red. And then when you take them out, they have shiny red edges. And then here is some of the artwork. So there's one of the queens. Oh. King. The Joker. Another Joker. Queen. And King. 
This is the King of Spades card, the Queen of Spades card, and then the Joker, and then we have the King of Hearts, the Queen of Hearts, and the Joker. Sorry, now I'm a little on edge because my camera battery died, then the battery became full, or the camera card became full. Anyways, the next thing is this little pin, which has scissors and ribbon and like a star and a, or a star, a sun and a moon. If I feel like if I read further on, it's going to tell me what the book is and I don't want to do that. So, but uh, I don't know where the pin is from. Grandmother and I said a powerful witch doctor one day, said I will be a powerful witch doctor one day, but I cannot wait that long. Kingdom of Souls by Rena thing. So this is a captivating YA fantasy debut, magic has a price if you're willing to pay on sale September 3rd, 19. So this is just, I guess, like a little advertisement for a book. Okay, ooh, so the book, ooh, this looks so pretty. It is Spin the Dawn by Elizabeth Lim. Dear Owl Crate Reader, Spin the Dawn is a very dear book to me that draws on several stories my father told me when I was growing up. The Chinese folktale the Cowhead and the Weaver, Charles Perrault's Donkey Skin, and the Norwegian fairy tale East of the Sun. These three enchanting stories feature an intrepid young woman, perilous journeys, and star-crossed love. Themes that are woven throughout Spin the Dream, or Spin the, Spin the Dawn. If you have not had the chance to come across them, please seek them out. And it's this little art cool art print of the cover is blocking the rest of it. Okay, so this was the art print that I said. Ooh, it says I'm tired of not being worthy. She looks fierce AF. Maya Tomei, the main character of Spin the Dawn, was loosely inspired by my grandmother who was a seamstress for many years after she immigrated to the United States. She used to hold me on her lap while she worked the sewing machine. Maya too is an experienced seamstress in a rather different world, one rich with myth, intrigue, and magic. Her journey takes us her journey takes her to the far reaches of the kingdom on a quest to make three legendary dresses of the sun, moon, and stars. Oh, so that's what the pin is. Okay, so yeah, the pin kind of gave away what the book was about. Okay, I hope Maya's tale enchants and captivates you. Please enjoy Spin the Dawn, Elizabeth Lynn. Okay, so let me take the plastic off. A gifted tailor in disguise, three legendary dresses, a, com a competition of a lifetime. On the fringes of the, can we speak, Ariel? On the fringes of the Great Spice Road, Maya Tamarin works as a seamstress in the shop of her father, once a tailor of renown. She dreams of becoming the greatest tailor in the land, but as a girl, the best she can hope for is to marry well. When a royal messenger summons her ailing father to court, Maya poses as his son and travels to the summer palace in his place. She knows her life is forfeit if her secret is discovered, but she'll take that risk to save her family from ruin and achieve her dream of becoming the Imperial Tailor. There's just one catch. Maya is one of 12 tailors vying for the job. The competition is cutthroat, and Maya's job is further complicated by the unwelcome attention of the court enchanter, Edan, who seems to see straight through her disguise. But nothing could have prepared her for the final challenge to sew three gowns so dangerously beautiful. It will take a quest to the ends of the earth to complete them. So, this is a duology. It says it's book one. Sorry, I don't keep talking like that. But, this is beautiful. Now I want to see, because I want to feel special, I want to see what the difference between this and the regular one is. Oh, there's this little thing. Okay, the theme for the August book box is Storms and Seas, which is amazing because um, I'm a mermaid, obviously, or I try to be because my name is Ariel, and now that I'm older, I want to live up to that 100%. Oh, so that's cool. So it shows you who did on the cards, which I'll show you guys. It shows you who illustrated what. Okay, our exclusive edition of Spin the Dawn, we decided to do a subtle change by switching the silver title font for Pretty Gold. We love that the gold matches the stunning cover art by Tran Nguyen. We're also big fans of the gold spine, too. Okay, so yeah. So it's gold writing instead of silver. Let's see. They also have, I found out they have like a little word search in here. Okay. Oh, and then there's a little thing on the girl who made the mug. Love it! Okay, so my favorite things... <laughs> let me just throw that there. My favorite things, other than the book, have got to be the cards and the mug. Also, the lanyard was really cool. The puzzle was awesome, too, though, because I love puzzles, and Glenn and I are just getting into puzzles. So, honestly, this box was perfect. I'm super excited. That was the July box, and I'm kind of... I'm not, I'm not sad that I got it. I loved pretty much everything that was in it. So, good job, Alec. 
Well, that was it. Um, I need some water because I've been talking a lot. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And let me know what your favorite item in this was because there was a lot of good competition. Um, I will see you guys next time if you want to join me again. My name is Ariel and we're going to say goodbye now. Bye! <laughs>